British Prime Minister Theresa May greets Ghana's President Nana Akufuado outside No. 10 Downing Street. Getty Grigor Dimitrov reacts to winning the men's singles final with a trophy. During day 8 of the NITO ATP World Tour finals at the O2 Arena in London, PA Central Scotland MSP Richard Leonard is congratulated by Glasgow MSP Anna Sawa at the Glasgow Science Centre after he was announced as the new leader of Scottish Labour Jane Barlow for British military working dog Marley poses for a photograph with his handler, Corporal Daniel Hatley. After receiving the PDSA Dickin Medal, the animal equivalent of the Victoria Cross for his heroic action in Afghanistan Reuters Theresa May chats with resident Val Lay during her visit. To a housing estate in London, a Getty Richard Radcliffe leaves the Foreign Office with his local MP Tulip Sadiq. Following a meeting with Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson, Mark Ward, ex four time Olympic champion Simo Farah, after being awarded a knighthood by Queen Elizabeth II, PA restoration work continues on the Palace of Westminster. Rex features a veteran takes his hat. Off during the Remembrance Sunday Senator Fried Lang ceremony Reuters members of the Western Front Association during a service at the Cenotaph to mark the Armistice Day EPA David Davis and Michelle Barnier Reuters Britain's newly appointed Secretary of State for International Development Penny Mordant leaves Downing Street at Pretty Patel leaves No. 10 Downing Street through the back entrance EPA schoolchildren and their teacher from Thomas Tallis School look at pictures on display at the Red Star over Russia exhibition at the Tate Modern in London Philip Toscanopa. A cast of the wrestlers, two men taking part in the Greek sport pancreation, is lowered into place at Natural Trust Stowe Landscape Garden near Buckingham PA, protesters in Trafalgar. Square, London. During the Million Mass March bonfire night protest PA, protesters take part in the Justice Now Make It Right for Palestine March, organised by the Palestine Solidarity Campaign. In central London PA people queue outside an Apple store in London to purchase the new iPhone X upon its release in the UK. The iPhone X is positioned as a high-end model intended to showcase advanced technologies such as wireless charging, OLED display, dual cameras and a face recognition unlock system Getty British Prime Minister Theresa May greets Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu outside 10 Downing Street in London. The pair are today celebrating the centenary of a British declaration that ultimately led to the foundation of the state of Israel Getty Mamatus clouds over St. Mary's Lighthouse in Whitley Bay, Northumberland Owen Humphreys the women protest outside Downing Street as they join a demonstration demanding rights for working mothers. Getty images England's under-17s pose with the World Cup trophy as they arrive back to the UKPA Leicester City Remembrance Day fixture between between Leicester City and Everton. At King Power Stadium Plum images Leicester City FC via Getty Images Spider-Man steals a seat on the Iron Throne from Game of Thrones at MCM London, Comic-Con's opening day. Rex features British fashion designer Vivienne Westwood holds up a paper against the government's policy on fracking outside Downing Street in London at Getty members of a delegation of indigenous and Rural community leaders from 14 countries in Latin America and Indonesia, the Guardians of the Forest campaign, demonstrate against deforestation in London during a stop on the way to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change UNFCCC Conference of the Parties 23 COP23 in Bonn, Germany Tolga Ackmann Ap Getty Gemma Davis, 23 cleans the doll's house during its annual clean at the National Trust's Cork Abbey property, in Ticknell, Derbyshire. The Dolls House was used by the family's various generations of children between 1860 and the Second World War. In their schoolroom PA, Prince William and Kate chat with West Ham player Mark Noble and manager Slaven Billick during the Coach Corps graduation ceremony Getty Images Jellyfish Washed. Up on Sidmouth Beach after Storm Ophelia hit the UK Getty Images A Red Sun appears in mid-Wales before Storm Ophelia hits Paul Williams Alamy Live News The Duchess of Cambridge dances with Paddington Bear as they attend a charities forum event at Paddington train station in London on October 16, 2017. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry joined children from the charities they support on board Belmont British Pullman train at Paddington station. The event was hosted by STUDIOCANAL, with support from BAFTA through its BAFTA kids program, and before embarking their royal highnesses met the cast and crew from the forthcoming film Paddington 2, Getty Images large waves crashed along sea defences and the harbour.
As Storm Ophelia approaches Porthleven in Cornwall, Southwest Britain Reuters Hillary Clinton gives a speech as she is presented with a honorary doctorate of law at Swansea University in Swansea, Wales. The former U.S. Secretary of State and 2016 American presidential candidate is also visiting the U.K. to promote her new book, What Happened Matthew Horwood Getty A Lone Protester demonstrates outside workman quadrillas shale gas fracking drilling rig near Westby in Blackpool. Engineers have begun to build the new rig at the site off Preston New Road in preparation for extracting gas. The site will be the first in the UK to extract shale gas since 2011. Getty photographs of missing Syrians are displayed as people, including a group of Syrian women, stand atop a double-decker bus during a demonstration by families for freedom in Parliament Square in London. Getty workmen erect scaffolding around the Elizabeth Tower, commonly known called Big Ben, during ongoing renovations to the tower and the Houses of Parliament. A Getty an order of service is carried ahead of the funeral service for Coronation Street actress Liz Dawn, real name Sylvia Ann Ebertson, outside Salford Cathedral. A former Woolworths shop girl from Leeds, who first set foot on Weatherfield's famous cobbles in 1974, Dawn, who had four children, died peacefully last week at home with her family around her. P.A. Melanie Kramers of Oxfam poses while wearing a mask of Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson, with assorted props used in political campaigns, in the storeroom at Oxfam's headquarters in London. The props have all been used in the charity's campaigns over the years to raise awareness of issues affecting people in poverty. Today marks 75 years since Oxfam's founding in the middle of the Second World War. Getty A visitor poses in front of an art work by Czech Republic artist Anna Hulakova entitled Ascension Mark I during a photo call for the Freeze Art Fair in London. At Getty Britain's Chancellor of the Exchequer Philip Hammond arrives to speak at the Conservative Party's conference in Manchester Roy to Shanna Mackay protesters holding flags and placards demonstrate along Oxford Street during the annual Ashura March in London. Thousands of protesters march through London today to mark Ashura and celebrate the defeat of the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria. Ashura is a Muslim festival of remembrance that falls on the 10th day of Muharram in the Islamic calendar Jack Taylor Getty protesters hold up placards during the London March for Choice, calling for the legalising of abortion in Ireland after the referendum announcement. Outside the Embassy of Ireland in central London Chris J. Ratcliffe, a former UKIP leader Paul Nuttall C. speaks with delegates at the UKIP annual conference being held at the the Riviera International Centre in Torquay Matt Cardi Getty England and West Indies fans enjoy themselves during the fourth Royal London One Day International between England and West Indies at the Keir Oval in London Mike Hewitt Getty Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn takes photographs during Shadow Secretary of State for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy Rebecca Long Bailey's speech in the main Hall. On day three of the annual Labour Party conference in Brighton, Dan Kitwood Getty images naked bathers enter the water as they take part in the northeast skinny dip at Druridge Bay in Druridge, England. The popular annual event takes place around the autumn equinox at Druridge Bay as the sun rises. Participant registration fees have been pledged to the mental health charity Mind. Getty Rollo Morfling, Archdruid of Stonehenge and Britain are conducts a ceremony as Druids, Pagans and Revelers gather in the centre at Stonehenge, hoping to see the sunrise, as they take part in a autumn equinox celebrations at the ancient Neolithic monument of Stonehenge near Amesbury in Wiltshire, England. Several hundred people gathered at sunrise are the famous historic Stone Circle, a UNESCO-listed ancient monument, to celebrate the equinox which is a specific moment in time that occurs twice a year where the Earth tilts neither towards summer or away winter from the sun in either the northern or southern hemisphere. Although yesterday marked the actual meteorological calendar change from summer to autumn. For Druids, the following dawn is when they celebrate the dawning of the new season following the day of equal night, which it is named after. Getty Britain's Prime Minister, Theresa May delivers her Brexit speech at the Complesso Santa Maria Novella in Florence, Italy. British Prime Minister Theresa May will seek to unlock Brexit talks on September 22, after Brussels demanded more clarity on the crunch issues of budget payments and EU citizens' rights AFP people protest against the actions of the Spanish government in front of the Spanish. Consulate in Edinburgh. Spanish police stormed ministries and buildings belonging to Catalonia's regional government yesterday, in an attempt to try and put a stop to the region's independence referendum PEP. 
Masipalami one of the final 55 meters turbine blades is maneuvered into position. The last of 116 wind turbines have been installed at the Rampion Offshore Wind Farm 13 kms off the Brighton coast. It will provide enough electricity to supply the equivalent of half the homes in Sussex Mike at Getty Images and armed police officer patrols in Horse Guards Parade. In London, an 18-year-old man has been arrested in Dover in connection with yesterday's terror attack on Parsons Green Station in which 30 people were injured. The UK terror threat level has been raised to critical Jack Taylor Getty Images demonstrators hold banners during a protest to lobby MPs to guarantee the rights of EU citizens living in the UK, after Brexit, outside the Houses of Parliament Tolga Ackman R. L. Rupert van der Werf, Summer Place Auctions Natural History Specialist, moves a one-year-old baby mammoth skeleton at Summer's Place Auctions on September 12, 2017 in Billingshurst. A family of four mammoths, found together during building works near the Siberian city of Tomsk in 2002, will be on sale on November 21, 2017 and are expected to sell in the region of £250,000 £400,000 Rob Stoth Images.